folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We're going to be working on the old Massey Ferguson 240 tractor today. We've got a new seat for it. Now there's nothing really wrong with the current seat that's on the tractor, but we wanted a suspension seat because this land that we've turned up, this new land we've turned up is a little bit bumpy and we wanted to save our backs a little bit. So we'll show you how to put a new seat on the Massey Ferguson 240. And this is a universal seat. I'll post a link down below in case you want to order yourself a seat. It's gonna be a good time, all right? So guys, here's the new seat, and like I said, I'll post a link down below in the video description. It's pretty simple. It's got armrest on it. It's got a little bit of a suspension set up in there, so when you sit down on it and you're bouncing on the tractor, it doesn't beat the living tar out of you. It takes two bolts on this tractor, and I'll show you that. So this is a Massey Ferguson 240, and it has been fully restored, been repainted, gone through. Very, very, very nice tractor. The total hours on this tractor, are 820 amazing amazing low hours on this tractor starts up runs great i bought it from my neighbor i really really like the tractor and this is going to be our main bush hogging tractor okay so the situation with our seat is it has a much more primitive seat setup than the one we're going to replace it with basically this cushion just kind of floats in there and this seat setup you know it's it's simple it's what tractors have used for years and years but it just has two simple bolts right here and what we're going to do is unbolt those two bolts and slap in our new seat this seat has no suspension you just see it could just beat the tar out of you especially if you're running through a bouncy field now it's got a nice cushion and everything and we'll save all this stuff in case we decide to sell the tractor down the road and we want to put a new seat on it but i think this seat's going to be a definite upgrade and i think we'll really enjoy it so we're just going to take our 5 8 socket and remove these two nuts pretty simple Guys, you can see there's several holes in the seat and I've got it set all the way back on the furthest hole that I can sit in. Now I'm a big guy, I'm about six foot five, and this tractor is a little bit small for me. It sits a little bit small, so hopefully this new seat will bring the seat level up a little bit, which will give me a little bit more leg room. So I'm not too awfully familiar with the settings on the new seat, but I do see that it has a slide lever, so I think this seat is set up to where I can slide it back and forth. Much easier and much better seat than what I had before. And again, the price point's really cheap. I'm gonna look it up here in a second and tell you what I paid for it. So when you get this seat, it's gonna come in several sections, okay? And you'll have to do some assembly once you get it in the mail. Basically, you just, this says this side up, which I had it upside down. Then we'll install this and we'll install the seat portion and then we'll put it all together on the tractor. First things first, let's be smart and read the instructions for this thing. Always wear safety glasses, fore aft suspension kit, after the We're gonna put it together, it looks pretty simple. I thought maybe the instructions had some kind of super duper awesome techniques or something, but it's pretty simple. Just put it together and put it on the tractor. Let's get busy. First things first, we gotta put these four bolts in and tighten them up. They come preloaded with red Loctite. One thing you have to think about when you're assembling something like this that's going on a tractor is vibration, okay? So this seat will take a lot of vibration. We'll finish installing the seat and then we'll install the back. It's just a half inch nut, pretty simple stuff. So here's where the bolts go in to mount the seat. To me, it makes more sense to put the seat on first and then I will bolt on the seat back. This seat is a universal fit so you see all these holes so it's made to fit many different types of tractors if this thing's a really good fit we may end up putting one on the massey ferguson 135. i'm considering selling that tractor because we really don't need three tractors this tractor is our secondary bush hog tractor we have the massey ferguson 135 and we have a john deere 5065 here on the farm all right next step we just set it in place where we want it mounted and we have to take into account clearance right here are we gonna bump against this part of the tractor right now I'm having to eat a little bit of crow I didn't read the instructions and you need to take a bolt out underneath here you just loosen it up and the bottom piece the whole mounting plate slides right off I'll loosen that up right now and you squeeze your little slider and the mounting plate comes off now ah, that's much smarter 
So basically the mounting plate just sits right on here. It's a little bit different than the original design and I am questioning whether it's gonna work properly, to be honest with you. We'll see, let's go ahead and install it, but I'm questioning whether it's gonna work properly. You know, nothing really goes right. Every time you do something, it seems like there's always some kind of hiccup. This might be a hiccup. We'll see. I'm looking at this and I'm scratching my head. Let me show you what I got. So the way this thing mounts up kind of puts me in a pickle. In order for it to set flush, I'll show you here. In order for it to set flush, it would have to be just like that. So that puts the seat way too far forward and basically puts me right here, uh, the front of the seat, almost against the uh, lever here, the shifter lever. So the only other way I see to do this is to go buy some shims to put in here to raise this thing up about that high and slide it back about right here. Got me scratching my head. I don't want to put shims on here, but I also don't want to sit in that old tractor seat anymore. So my mind tells me to put the seat right in the middle of where it should be, set it on here and see what it looks like. See if it looks like it's going to mount up okay or see if it's going to jam my knees up into the front of the tractor. Probably it needs to be up about two more inches. Let's mock it up and see. We'll sit her on the plate. Right there is where she'll sit. It's going to sit okay, but the bolts don't line up with the holes down here. That looks pretty good. I think we'll try it. Hot dog. It works. Let's tighten these bolts up. You ever just look at something sometimes and it just makes no sense to you? And the more you look at it and the more you figure on it, the more it does make sense. I feel like an idiot. Alright, slide the seat on here on its bracket. If it will go. Now the shifter knob is in the way. <laughs> this seat's making me look like a complete idiot. I've got to go ahead and unbolt it again and bolt it back down after I've slid this slider on here. What a turd. Let's unbolt it. Just a moderate amount of intelligence is required to install this. A moderate amount of intelligence. Evidently more than I possess. Let's remove this shifter knob. Now we're cooking. Alrighty. What a pain in the butt. Leave it to Stony Ridge Farmer to take an easy job and make it a big pain in the butt. We'll tighten these bolts back down. We should have a new seat. Awesome. Let's put the back on it and then I'll show you the features of the seat. It has some adjustments. It has adjustments for this direction. It has adjustment a knob right here for your weight, for the amount of cush that it has. And we'll bounce on it here in a minute and test it out. And I've also got to put the back on. Pretty simple. So this is the bolt that you have to loosen and tighten down in order for the seat to come off the slider portion. Pretty simple. Just tighten that guy down. Now this is a bolt adjustment that you can adjust the angle of your seat, whether you want it up or down or whether it's just right. I feel like I want it to be in this hole right here. That, that seems to be, I like to kind of sit with my legs supported in the front right here. So this is the way it's sitting now. That's the way it'll sit when we're done. So this bolt's originally in this hole. We're gonna pop it out, slide it into here, snug it down. And that is a, on the back side here is a nylon locking nut. We're gonna lift it up, tighten it down, and repeat this process on both sides. Now here's the seat back, and see it says up. So you just drop them right in those slots, and then we'll tighten it up. This company was thinking, they put holes right here so you can slide your socket in and tighten these up. Rad. Now before I put this seat on, when I got on and off this tractor, I had to bring my leg over the hood right here. And you can see where I've had to bring it over the hood and I've scratched the hood and I don't want to scratch the hood. I want my tractor to stay purdy. Let's see how she sits. First time sitting on this thing. Oh, and not forget to put our shifter knob back on. Ah. Uh, <laughs> heavenly heavenly guys it puts me at a higher stance on the tractor it actually makes it feel like a totally different tractor it's really important when you're riding a tractor for six eight ten hours a day it's really important that you're comfortable your operator station is very comfortable you don't feel like you're you're down in a hole you want to be up you want to be high you want to be in charge you want to easily be able to turn and assess what's going on to the rear view to the front of you to the sides of you and this thing is far superior to that old metal hunk of seat that they used back in the old days i don't know if you can hear that but there's a shock built into the seat and it just 
just puts you at a good comfortable operating position. The clutch pedal and the brake pedal are straight down for me. I'm not jammed up against the front of the tractor. I'm all the way back as far as I can go, but Mrs. Stony Ridge can get all the way up close here if she needs to, if she can't reach the pedals and use this tractor. So that's the good thing about it. I wanted my wife to be able to drive the tractor. I think it helps inspire her. I know she wants to participate in all the stuff that we're doing on the farm. So this year, I'll be able to put her in a comfortable seat, a comfortable operator station here on this tractor, and she'll be able to help. She'll be able to have some fun bush hogging and riding the tractor with me. I think it'll be really awesome. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Just thought we'd put this new tractor seat on for you, show you what it's all about. I'll post a link down below to Amazon. Hang on one second, let me see what it costs. $94.95. I'll post an Amazon link down below to the tractor seat if you want to consider purchasing one. $94.95 with free shipping, super duper upgrade. At first I thought it was going to be a pain in the butt, but the only pain in the butt was my way of thinking. I just had to figure out how it went on and it worked out great. Guys, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video about the farm, about what's going on here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something. If you decide to pick one of these tractor seats up, use my link. If you want to support my channel, you want to help support my channel, I've got a store on Amazon. It's not my store. I don't sell the products, but if you go through my link to get to Amazon, they give me a little bit of a tip. It's awesome. So I'll post a link down below. I didn't get paid to do this. I paid for it myself, and I thought I'd show you something cool. Thanks. Come on back and see me, all right? Yeah. Yeah.